Hey streamers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today you'll be learning how to screen share on a live stream. So essentially how you can share your screen to your viewers while live on your WordPress website. And I'll be doing this using the browser broadcaster, but you can also do this using OBS or any other external broadcaster out there. I'll probably be creating a video for that too, but for now let's check out how to do it using the browser broadcaster. So of course, the first thing you will need to do is make sure you install and activate the WP stream plugin. And that is what we're going to be using for video streaming. And you will also want to get the WooCommerce um, plugin as well. And that's what we're using as a payment gateway. So we will be creating a pay-per-view channel. So make sure you get the WooCommerce one. Now let's go to WP Stream Credentials and here you will either sign in if you already have an account or if you don't, you can create a new account by clicking on the link over here and of course, enter all your details and register. Once you have registered, it will take you to your WP Stream dashboard where you'll find your free trial package. And you can also send a confirmation link to your email address to confirm your email and receive an extra five gigabytes of streaming data. So don't forget to do that. And once you have done that, you'll go back, enter your details and save changes to connect to WP Stream. So now that we have connected, we can go ahead and set up our channel. And to do that, go to WP Stream channels right over here and here you can either create a free or pay-per-view channel i'll be creating a pay-per-view channel but to create a free channel you can check out one of our other videos so let's do that here you will enter a name so i'll be streaming a tech conference and make sure it's a live channel you can assign a price i'm just um, typing in $7.99 and you can also add it as a sale with a lower price if you would wish and then you can also add a product image just so it looks more official more professional any categories tags and things like that and once you're happy with your channel you will click on publish and here it is Publish. Now you will click on settings if you want to adjust any of the settings, like enable recording. If you want to record your live stream, you can display viewer account or choose not to, lock to website, autoplay, and all these other settings. So once you have adjusted all your settings, you are ready to start your live event. So once it has loaded, you will click on go live from browser. So that's the first option. And here I am, I'm looking a bit rough, so I'm not showing myself today. And for camera, you will click on that and click on screen share. And this pop-up will appear and you can either pick the entire screen window or Microsoft Edge tab, depending on the browser you're on. But I will click on entire screen and let me just enlarge this right over here. Make sure you select it and share. Now here it is, as you can see on the screen, you can also adjust your microphone and I'm just going to move this over here and you, as you can see, it's also moving on the screen on the browser broadcaster. So yeah, adjust your microphone bitrate resolution and start streaming or start broadcast. Now go back and click on view channel. And as you can see, because it's a pay-per-view channel, you can only watch if you have purchase the um, live stream. So make sure you add to cart and complete the purchasing details. And once you've done that and you click on the link, it will take you to your live stream. And as you can see, it is currently sharing my screen. So that's what's live. And that's what people can see if they access my um, website or this particular page. I'm going to do picture in picture and go to the pitch that I want to present. So of course this is just a random presentation, but as you can see, um, once I click forward to go to the next slide, it also changes on the picture in picture or on my live. And that's how it looks like on my live stream. 
So once I'm done with my presentation and wish to stop sharing my screen, I will simply click on stop sharing, which is now in the bottom right corner, this big blue button over here. And after a bit, you'll see the following message appears. The live stream is paused and may resume shortly, but this is an indication that your live stream would have ended. So that is basically how you can screen share your um, live stream. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for next week since we're uploading another video. Thanks for watching.